Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be a short video on how to clone pepper plants. And it's, you will need a few tools. But like I said, this is going to be a short video. So without further ado, let's go on and get into it with the tools you'll need so you can get started. All right, here are the four things you will need. You will need some rock wool. You can order this from off of Amazon. This works best. You will need some kind of root hormone. I use take root, some snips, and a razor blade. And you also will need some kind of dome to keep it humid and moist inside. But we'll get into that part later because you can use anything that you like, an old Tupperware container, anything. But these four things are what you will need. And you might can get away without having one of these two either or but let's get started now with one thing you need to know with these right here you want to go ahead and get how many you're going to use cut up and get them soaking inside the water that you're going to use so they can be already saturated because you don't want to use them dry you want them to be soaking wet before you put your clone inside of those so Go ahead and cut how many of these you're going to use off and get them inside your water. I'm going to do four clones today, so I got mine soaking in the water right now. So let's go ahead and cut our clone. Now when cutting your clone, you want to make sure you got at least three nodes to cut from. And what I mean by nodes is where the plants always start to V off into another leaf, that is a node. And let's get closer so I can show you what I'm talking about. Look, if you look here, this is a node, that's a node, that's a node, and this is a node. You always want to at least have at least three nodes before you make your cut. So that's like one, two, and three. I always go four because I'm gonna cut the bottom leaves off and I'll show you why I cut those off because we're going to have to shave side of the plant to actually start roots to grow and what's good about if you can get one that's in a good um, stage in this life is you can clone the parts that you prune from the plant and the plant will grow wider and the parts, like I said, that you cut off, you can clone those. So let's go ahead and cut this guy. We're going to go one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and give it a cut right here. And that right there will still grow. And this here is going to be our clone. Okay, so now that you have your clone, what we're going to do next is we're going to trim these leaves off here so it doesn't use a lot of energy trying to focus on those leaves. So we're going to just cut the tips off like this. Let's cut them in half pretty much. Let's cut the ends of them off. every leaf cut the tip of that piece off on every leaf if you can all right and that's, that's pretty good for starting and now remember like I said I cut mine's four down you want at least three and I told you what I reason why I'm cutting for it down because these leaves here at the bottom I'm just gonna pluck those off And the reason why you need a good razor is because we're going to shave some of this skin now from right off of here. That's like that. You don't want to cut too deep in the plant. Just shave that skin off.
and you want to do that for at least three fourths of that diameter you don't have to do it all the way around but at least half just get half of it get the skin off and I'll show you what we're going to do next Are you serious? All right, the next step is go ahead and get that part where you just cut the skin off just a little bit wet. Just a little bit. You don't have to get the whole plant wet. Now what you want to do is just take that, tap some of the excess off, but dip that into your cloning solution. And now what we're going to do is just stick her right inside our rock wool. Just like that. And set her in there to go, folks. And that is how you clone. You do that for however many clones you want to do. But that is as simple as it gets. And it works marvelous. And that is the end of this video. If you guys have any comments, leave them. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I want you to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.